Hey, what's going on, everybody? You already know who it is. So let's that black guy commentator. Yup, the realest gamer. How y'all doing today? And welcome back to another episode of How to Grow Your Gaming Channel. And today we're gonna talk about recording devices. And for the next episode, I'm gonna talk about audio devices and softwares. And you know, let me also say that this tutorial might be a little bit longer than my other tutorials. But if it is, then you know, just bear with me, guys. I don't want to miss any steps that would be very helpful to you. I don't want to make a shortcut tutorial you know just skip over some of the major things and just put something out there i really want to give you guys the best advice that i possibly can because guess what this tutorial is really to help you guys find a great budget recording device because i know it's kind of hard to you know do videos out here especially when a lot of these devices cost a lot of money because guess what you know a lot of people don't have money i know if you're a smaller channel you know you probably don't have a whole lot of money going on and you really want to invest into your youtube but you don't know what to get and what would be best for you so that's what i'm here guys i'm here to kind of help you find what would be the best audio well, not audio, but the best recording device for you and your budget. So, with that being said, let's hop right into it because I don't want to make this tutorial too long. But, um, the first one would be the Dazzle DVD Recorder HD. And a lot of people remember this. Everybody remember this. This was, like, the number one most, re most, um used capture card back in the day of the model warfare two days everybody was using this optic who was zero grizz optic predator you know uh, lea i believe and also t martin almost everybody was using this this was like the number one recording device back in the day because the gaming community wasn't as big as it is now it wasn't as evolved a lot of people wasn't really into it and you know this was just like one of those devices out there that a lot of people didn't know about and you know you can record your gameplay and stuff like that so you know a lot of people got this and then later on that's when the HD PVR came out then that's when it really got into it and then later on these other companies came out with the Roxio and the Elgato you know how it went but um uh, basically I'm gonna give you guys the pros and cons to the Dazzle the pros is that it's very lightweight it's very easy to use so if you ever want to slap somebody upside the head with it you can because it's like a boomerang <laughs> no I'm just joking but yeah it's very easy to use it's very easy to set up it's, it's lightweight you can basically kind of put it in your pocket actually like that's how small and lightweight it is it's like you can just slide it right through your pocket and it's kind of shaped like a boomerang i always thought it was like a boomerang or something like that but you can just you know go off and uh hook it up it's very easy to set up the software is very easy but the biggest setback for this thing and the, i guess you can kind of say this is the reason why i wouldn't recommend it is because the quality is horrible it's just it's just bad guys it, it's just it's not good it's not worth it the money's not worth it for really um on the website let me also say that on the website you see that it says 69.99 and on the elgato for the uh game capture is 179 for the hd pvr 2 is 168 guess what for these devices you can get it a lot cheaper on ebay i guarantee you will find the dazzle for around 20 to 25 dollars on ebay matter of fact i would do that right now i'm going to ebay i'm gonna show you how easy it is how easy it is to like get these things for dirt cheap like let me see dazzle okay so you're gonna type in dazzle dvc 100 okay so you got like 50 right there maybe go someone to say it's buy now all right see like right here somebody got it for 25 55 19 dollars you see what i'm saying and right here on the website is 69.99 you can get these things for a lot cheaper and for the elgato for instance i'm go go type in elgato Elgato Game Capture HD. It was like how much? You can get it right here. 148. Right here. 179. Like I said before. Um, let's go to buy now. Where we're on buy now. Let's even go down. Because I actually got mine for a little bit cheaper. You can get it for 144. Uh, here you go one for 125, 170. Nope, that's not what we're looking for. But you kind of get what I'm saying. Like you can get it for a, lot, a little bit cheaper on eBay than you would from the website. And also let's try the HD PVR. Where would that be? HD. PVR. Oh, there we go. All right, so right now you gotta fly. Oh no, nope, that's not it. Oh, I guess it's it. <clears throat> so right, you got like for 130 and 164. Uh, you, you get basically get what I'm saying though. You can get for a lot cheaper on eBay. You just gotta go look around and stuff like that. But with that being said, would I recommend the Dazzle? No, I would not. We have four minutes. Okay, that's pretty good. We have four minutes, but. I would not recommend the Dazzle. It's just not worth it. You, you, I, I mean, if you have to get it, guys, then just, you know, go ahead. Get it if you want to start off. But let me just say that if you want a good audience, if you if you really want to impress your audience, you got to put out some 
good quality content. That's what people want. They don't want a half quality content. So with that being said, we're gonna go on to the next one. And the that was the reason why I put that in because it's just something that I know will kind of start off a lot of other YouTubers. And you know, you can it's, it's just I guess you can kind of say it's like a basic basic starter. So you know, go for it if that's the only thing you can get as of now. And then later on, you can try to get the um these other recording devices so for the next one we got both of the rocks your game capture we've got the standard and then we have the hd pro as you can see the standard is 49.99 about 30 dollars cheaper than the dows over here but you know if you go on ebay you can get it for like 20 <laughs> but with that being said you can play hd on your tv capturing 480p uh has smaller file size for faster sharing that's really good if you have a low-end computer video editing software for made for gamers which seems that it'll be really good for you gamers you can probably add some color correction you know for for like some of you gamers that don't know too much about editing or anything like that this would be very helpful it has usb rca and component cables included and what that mean by that is like right here the component cable got the green blue and red you know the standard old component cables and it supports the xbox 360 ps3 and pc games so that means that it doesn't support the xbox one and the ps4 like the s like the capture card hd pro over here so if you have the new generation of consoles then you will have to get the pro i don't think that the standard will work for you or i don't even think the dows will work for you either so if you have the new generation of consoles then you either have to get the hapog well no you won't even be able to get the hapog if i'm sure because i don't think the hapog has hdmi import and for the new consoles you have to have hdmi so you gotta either get the Roxio game catcher hd pro or the elgato but if you have the normal Xbox 360, then you can get either one. But I would definitely recommend the HD Pro because let's look at the futures for this. It plays in it. Oops, sorry, <laughs> I had a little burp. But it plays in capture in 1080p, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. That's a lot better. That's actually the highest standard settings for YouTube. That's what people want to see. We want to see that 1080p, that 720 content. We don't want to see that 480p. But you know, hey, if you can't get this, then you know, go ahead. You might get away with it. But really, this is what we're looking for. This is what your viewers want to see. So if you want to find the best content, then go for it. Uh, let's see what else. We got live streaming directly to Twitch. That means straight from the program. You don't need to use XSplit. You don't need to use OBS. You don't need to use none of those third-party programs. You can live stream straight from the program. And that's really good if you have a low end computer because you know with some of these third party um programs i know especially with split it takes up a lot of processing power and if you have a low processor if you don't have a good computer that can be very bad for your computer uh basically the stream will be lagging and stuff like that and with the game capture with the software for these devices they don't use up a whole lot of things because i know with the elgato um before I built my computer, I couldn't even really live stream with XSplit. But you know, uh, when I was using the software, the Elgato software, because you can live stream with the Elgato straight from the capture card itself as well. You basically, I was streaming some good quality. I didn't have any lag in at all. I didn't have any problems. But as soon as I put it in XSplit, I was having like lags up the butt. Like it was just crazy. So I would definitely recommend the HD Pro. Uh, you got some video editing software and new effects. So that's a lot better. You know, if you're uh, you know if you want to add some little bit more effects to your gameplays and stuff like that But you know everybody gonna take their thing to Sony Vegas because that's that's the original editing program or even Adobe After Effects But you know everybody knows Sony Vegas. That's what we use to do our video editing uh, What else we got HDMI inputs and outputs that's really good HDMI is much better than component cables That's my that, I mean that's that's just basic good statistics anybody else can probably say different but you know for me seeing the reviews and like me basing off of what my experience was hdmi is much better than components you know with hdp vr you actually have component cables you don't have a hdmi and it still put out some good quality content but i don't know why but the hdmi it makes everything run a lot smoother so definitely get the hdmi it's a lot better and plus you don't have to worry about you know going through a whole lot of you don't have to you don't have to worry about matching up a green a blue and a red especially if you're in the dark you can just plug the hdmi right in this port you don't have to worry about trying to put the audio cables in right you know what i mean it's just a lot simpler to use hdmi so going on to the next one is the hapal and the one thing about the hapal i can't say is that it gets the job done that's that thing can get the job done it will get you what you need it put out some good quality content so I would definitely recommend this as well, but some of the drawbacks from it is that it doesn't have any live streaming capability from what I know. I haven't tried the HTTP VR 2. I don't know what the game, I don't know what the software is like that, but from what I heard, I don't think it has any live streaming options from it. 
and it doesn't have any live commentary options that's another thing that the Rossio I don't know if they have a live commentary option and I think that's why the Elgato beats over all of these capture cards because guess what it has it has a live it has a live commentary option and also has a live streaming option it goes for YouTube and Twitch and with the Rossio HD Pro it only has it for Twitch so that's even better that's why a lot of people go with the Elgato because it has better features so I would definitely recommend the Elgato but we're gonna get to that soon enough but what like I said before the Apollo will get the job done guys it really does get the job done but you know um for if you want to really ask me I would probably go with the Elgato or the HD Pro. The only reason why I say not the Hapalk is that if you want to get into like live commentaries and stuff like that, then you got to do it old school, baby. You got to do it old school. And what and what I mean by that, you better take out that second program, that audio um software, you know what I mean? Like Audacity or something or Adobe Edition. And then you got to have your recording software up. And then you basically like got to sync it up in Sony Vegas. You get what I'm saying. You got to go old school. So if, unless you don't want to go old school and you new school, then I I would suggest you get this Elgato because with the Elgato, it has a built-in live coming uh, live commentary option, so that way you don't have to sync it up in Sony Vegas. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I really do like the Elgato, and uh, we're about to get into that right now. Let's see where we at. We at 11 minutes. Okay, I'm trying to make this pretty quick, guys. So with the highlights, you, you can record your Xbox or PlayStation. You can also they add a new update where it now supports. PS4 and I also think the Xbox One. Yeah, it does su support the Xbox One. It has a built-in live streaming for YouTube and Twitch, which is good because you can't live stream to, to YouTube with the HD Pro, but you can live stream it to Twitch. And let's see, you got 480, you got 4 HD 1080p capture, just like the HD Pro. And what else? You have flashback, something that Roxio doesn't have now. This is really good. I actually like this thing, but at the same time, it can be bad if you have a low end computer. And basically, what this does is it kind of like it kind of what it says flashback. Like it basically, um, if you didn't record, say for instance, you got a trick shot, okay, but you forgot to record, and that can be the worst that you hit a trick shot and you forgot to record and you think whole your all hope is lost. Basically, well, guess what? You can go back in time and you can go back to that part where you hit that trick shot. And this is I actually just enabled it for the tutorial purpose to try to get everything ready. But basically this is a uh, flashback and what you see right here is you can just like kind of go back in time as you can see like you can drag it back Well, since I don't have my game on I can't do anything It would have been better if I turned my game on and try to show you an example, but you just you know uh, Right now just savings, you know, it's not recording and I'm playing right now And then I get like a, a three feet and then I'm not recording Well, all you got to do is go back in time switch that back or whatever and bam you can go back to that time and right before you get to that feed you just hit the record button and then you stop it and that's basically what flashback is now the bad thing about it is that it takes up a lot of memory so if you have your Elgato on and you have the enable flashback on it's basically constantly taking memory non-stop even if you're not recording it's, it's basically like just saying they're recording but not recording it's just taking up memory and if you have like 200 figure 250 gigabytes of hard drive then that is bad it will make your computer a lot slower so I will only recommend this if you have a high-end computer and you have like one terabyte or two terabytes of hard drive memory then yes you can definitely have that enabled but if you have a low-end computer I wouldn't suggest that I would just say just a hey, make sure you have it recording better look at it and then you know do your thing <laughs> but with that being said that's about it guys hopefully uh, this tutorial wasn't too long let's see where we at we had 30 minutes so yeah um hopefully this this tutorial kind of help you guys get a little bit of um a new view of how things are and hopefully you know i kind of you know helped you pick out what might be better for you also another thing i'm going to do before i end this is that for each recording device that's mean for the dazzle the elgato the hapal the both of the ratio i'm going to put a video test for each device so you can even look at the quality of the devices and what they put out and that can even that can help you better decide if you want that device or not so i hope that really helps but you know um with that being said hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial if you did then please hit that like button subscribe share this video to your friend if they want to learn how to grow their gaming channel and for the next episode i'm going to talk about audio hardware and devices and hopefully i can find a great budget audio device for you and you will be getting the same type of you know quality that you hear these bigger youtubers have so with that being said thank you guys so much i'm that black guy commentator and i'm out peace